With more and more companies experimenting with the four-day work week, I decided to speak to a local expert to see how to execute reduced hour schedules. I have more on some of the benefits we could see. This sort of tidal wave shift is something that I've been anticipating seeing in the workforce for, for quite a while. Fran McKee Ryan, a professor of business management at UNR, spends her time studying how people relate to their work. They don't want to sell their soul to work. For many people, the biggest problem with work isn't about the job itself. It's how the timing constantly conflicts with everything else in life. It's nice to be able to have a day that you can make a doctor's appointment or you can deal with some of the things that are, you know, that have to be done Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. McKee Ryan says coming out of the 2008 recession, people have been stressed. It's created a general sense of burnout exasperated by the pandemic. There is only so long that you can continue to burn the candle at both ends. This has brought on louder support around reimagining the work week to be four days instead of five. And as the four-day work week has gained attention, some companies have found it to be a powerful recruitment and retention tool. Employees in general right now are looking for anything that's flexible. Companies that have tried it are reporting happier workers, lower turnover, and greater efficiency. Now there's evidence that those effects are long-lasting. There have been a couple of studies, and the studies show that there is a decrease in the stress level. The numbers that I've seen are about 18%. McKee Ryan adds that there isn't a study to suggest any loss of productivity, but this doesn't happen by magic. This kind of restructuring fails to accommodate some people's work hours, such as parents with schedules that are aligned with their kids' school day. There's an opportunity to automate some of those things that are routine, typical, regular, then that's a way that you can free up time for employees. According to McKee Ryan, for this to work, employers need to be willing to do their part. Having a four-day work week doesn't just mean we don't work on Fridays. The companies that are successful at implementing this kind of a change view all of their human resources policies as a system. They had to do some things to be more efficient with their employees when they were there.